What's going on guys? I know, I know, I know. I am behind on this. I have been wanting to play this game and I finally was able to. So we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 of 2023. So this version, I know a lot of people have their own opinions on. Uh, this is just going to be mine. If you guys enjoyed the story, because I'm mainly going to talk about story. I'm not going to get into multiplayer or Warzone or any of that crap. I just really want to talk about the story because I get the Call of Duty games first off of the story, then I play multiplayer or co-op or whatever have you. So the entirety of this story, is it as good as its predecessor? That remains to be seen. I... I don't know. I really don't know. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like them leaving us on a cliffhanger, especially with what happened. I mean, you're still going out after Makarov. You're trying to go after him. You play as Price. You play as, play as Soap. You play as Gaz. You play as, um, you know, a few others from the previous games. You go after him, and then you have to run into former allies, former... Um, enemies turn friends and friends turn enemies, you know, it, it's just the same thing that happens in almost every Call of Duty game. And it just seems very repetitive, and, and it is repetitive. And obviously, once again, you know, spoiler alert, we lose, well, I, we lose one of, literally one of my favorite characters ever in the Call of Duty franchise, you know, so if he dies again in this game, which really sucked. And then seeing how they just leave it on a cliffhanger, how Makarov magically gets away yet again, and then just don't know what's going to happen. So apparently there's been a lot of rumors of how are they going to combine this with other possible games of the uh, franchise. There's been like, oh, they're going to redo Call of Duty Ghost, which has been a lot of uh, on everybody's minds. Which again, I love Call of Duty Ghost, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to combine Ghosts with this. Which if they did, it would make sense with the story possibly. I'd have to replay it because it's been so long, but I firmly believe that they need to really work on the stories. It, it, it's too, it's too predictable with the story because of always, oh, the, the antagonist is always doing this, Mir miraculously has a, you know, an army full of undoubtable followers and has all this money and then you can never find them to the last minute they always get away and then if you do kill them there's always someone else there um it's just the same thing over and over again and again i know that's how the real world can operate and i get that and it's just i don't know i mean but do i like this better than the original third one i i don't know i i really i can't answer that i can't say yes i can't say no I enjoyed myself. I think the graphics were very well done. I think that the gameplay was well done. But the story... I don't know. There was times where I had to kind of walk away from it. Because I, I wasn't bored. It just felt very predictable. It felt very predictable of what I was doing. I liked how I had more freedom. To do my missions on how I chose to. Whether, you know, go guns out blazing or go into you know silent mode where you know Assassin's Creed style where you have to go behind and knock out your enemies very stealthily I like that but it just I know that's what a lot of players want they want more war zone gameplay in the story and I don't mind that that's not the problem here I think the problem with this game was the story the story is what kind of took me out of it bringing characters in that didn't necessarily need to be in there taking out characters that didn't need to be taken out and then leaving a character there to be left alive it pretty much leaves you on a cliffhanger to be going okay where do we go from here how do we operate this because this kind of felt like this was two in a way rather than three uh from the previous one because at least modern warfare 3 they wrapped it up in a bow so to speak from what i remember but this one definitely leaves you on a cliffhanger and they're probably going to go about however many months later or a year or so later and then they're going to bring you right back into the fight playing as either Gaz or Price. Honestly, I'd prefer if they would have gotten Gaz out the way and just leave Soap and um, Price and, uh, you know, Ghost either way. You know, between Ghost and then Price and 
So that would have been the A team right there. I mean, Gaz, I don't mind Gaz. It's just, I, I don't know. I would prefer if Gaz went other than Soap because Soap is an OG character. Soap is a badass. And I was really pissed off that yet they killed him once again and just really made the story like thinking like, really? You're, you're killing off the same character yet again. And then Shepard getting away with what he got away with. And then bringing Graves back and all this other kind of stuff. And you're just sitting there and you're going, what the hell is going on? It's not making sense. And then they're pulling, I felt like what they did, they were pulling uh, like the rabbit out of their ass and feeling like, oh, we're going to do this and see what the fans think. And I just felt like that that's what you don't do to make fans happy with a franchise. And that's what takes them out of it. So... I don't know. I mean, I don't mind playing the story. I just feel like that it's just become very repetitive. It's become very predictable. And you know what to expect in certain situations if you play Call of Duty games as long as I have. So, I don't know, guys. That's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you as always on the next one.